Hey, Impact Communities, Pastor Jeff here. So great to be with you as we take the Bible into your week, not just into your weekend. This last weekend, we heard Pastor Josh uh, finish up Simple Summer, and we talked about relationships. And so what we want to do is dive a little deeper uh, by taking Discovery Bible Study into Matthew chapter 18, a great but problematic chapter uh, in the Bible that if we were to apply it, wow, God could do great things uh, in our relationships. So let's talk it over. Uh, this last weekend, we heard from Pastor Josh uh, three things, uh, just conversationally, that we should build into all of our relationships. Hey, what are your highlights? Remember that? Highlights, hurdles, and help. What are your highlights? Um, what are your hurdles? What hurdles are you facing today? And how can I help you? So both how can I help you and then also how can God supernaturally help you? And so as I was even thinking about Pastor Josh's message this last weekend, I was thinking about what area do I double down on when it comes to those? Like what are more a part of my conversation than the others? Uh, which of those three highlights, hurdles, and help are non-existent in my conversations? And so uh, I would say I probably land in the area of highlights, like uh, my conversations on the weekend, as well as my conversations with my kids. Um, it is often, hey, tell me about your day. Tell me about the highlight of your day. Um, hey, what's exciting that happened today? Uh, I really double down there. And I think about these other two areas and I'm like, wow, this is really good for me to know. Like it's good for me to uh, take a lap around again. Um, it's not a revolutionary thought or even out of the blue. Even when you heard it this last weekend, I'm sure it was like, yeah, that makes sense. And I see why that's important. Are we incorporating that into our conversations, into our relationships? Simple relationships. So great. Here's a question. What happens when it's not so simple? Um, like I really want to take us there today as we uh, unpack a chapter of the Bible together in Discovery Bible Study. And when relationships get messy, uh, one of my go-to chapters in the Bible is Matthew chapter 18. Uh, Matthew chapter 18 is this like really eclectic, like it's just all over the place. Four, four verses on this, five verses on that. This is what Jesus said here. He goes to a different place there. But all of it has to do with relationships. And so let's get a little background, a little context for your conversation, and then we'll dive into it. Whether you have a physical version of the Bible or a digital version, turn to Matthew chapter 18. Uh, Matthew chapter 18. And a little bit of background. So who's holding the pen? Uh, Matthew the disciple. And I can't think about Matthew the disciple without uh, thinking about Chosen, uh, the miniseries coming out right now uh, that's all about the life of Jesus and those that followed him. In Chosen, if you haven't seen it, uh, Matthew is this really odd character, uh, but he's really, he's into the notes and he's into the details and he's into all those things. And we see that actually come out in his gospel. Uh, again, the Chosen is just a, a, a representation of what it could have been like. But as I look at Matthew, I'm like, man, that's actually what it looks like. He was a tax collector. He's about the numbers. He's about the, the really the details of it all. And we see that come out in this gospel. And so we get to Matthew chapter 18, and I just, I, I just think about him holding the pen, uh, that character actually holding the pen. What have we already read? How can we get prepared for Matthew chapter 18? Matthew chapter 16 talks about Jesus running with the religious leaders. This is not new. It happens often in Jesus' life uh, that he will be either teaching or they'll come after him and ask him for a question, almost a gotcha kind of a question, um, but constantly throughout Jesus' ministry, uh, there are run-ins with the religious leaders uh, that they're trying to hold the line on tradition, and Jesus is coming with a brand new message from the heart of God, and those conflict. Uh, Matthew chapter 16 also ends with a prediction, Jesus predicts his death for the third time, uh, and so those are very much related. The more run-ins he has with the religious leaders, the more this uh, pressure cooker is building up, building up, building up. Um, so that's Matthew chapter 16. 17, we see the transfiguration. Uh, transfiguration, uh, uh, interesting word there. What that really means is, you know, Jesus invites his three closest disciples up to a mountaintop and he transforms in front of them. Uh, there's almost this, uh, Jesus goes from an earthly state almost to a heavenly state. Uh, state, uh, joined by some forefathers of the faith up on a mountain, like really an amazing uh, moment in those disciples' lives, but then also as Jesus is just showing himself, uh, who he is, and his power uh, in that. So the coming off of that gets into Matthew chapter 18, and Matthew chapter 18 starts with this question, who is the greatest in the kingdom of heaven? 
The disciples go to Jesus and say, Jesus, of all the things you've shared, and we're confused about most of it, I'm sure, but uh, who, who is the greatest in the kingdom of heaven? And Jesus gives a really cool answer there. I'm excited for you to get into it. And then the rest of the chapter, if you were to find the theme through that, you would see relationships. What do I do when relationships get messy? What do I do when I feel like I'm cornered in a relationship? What do I do when I find um, someone is in sin? What do I do with forgiveness in my life and how should I view that? Matthew chapter 18 speaks into all of that. And I'm really excited because in impact communities, this is where we're supposed to live this out. This is where this happens. This is where the rubber meets the road with Matthew chapter 18. And so not lobbing up an easy one to you guys, uh, but I think it's an important one uh, discipleship wise. So I'm excited about this discipleship moment. I encourage you to step into it. It is great. Uh, enjoy Discovery Bible Study in Matthew chapter 18. And we'll see you this weekend uh, in the park.